guys, it's Angela. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about, or tonight, should I say, um, I'm going to talk about my uh, 15 favorite things for my daughter. She is uh, 14 months, but this is basically from birth to now that I think, because some of these things um, I don't use anymore. I used when she was little and I really, when she was first born, and I'd like to share those. The first thing, I researched a lot, and I got mixed reviews on it, but I thought for myself it would work, and I, I'm so glad I got it. This big thing, and this is called the Blooming Bath. Yes, it's expensive, but if you have a preemie, um, Anna Claire was two pounds, two ounces when she was born. Um, when she came home from the hospital, I needed to be able to bathe her in the sink. And um, the way my kitchen sink is made, the, the other kind of uh, bathtub things, the way they would, I don't know what they're called, the reclining seat top thing, I could not get them to fit in the bathtub. And so I got this, and I like how soft it is. And it's nice and squishy. I have not had any stink problems. Um, I would take it. And I have a, um, a little clothesline on my back porch. And my back porch windows would stay open and get air. And so it would dry out there. But I have thrown it in the dryer. It washes up really nice. As long as you don't take the whole thing and soak in wet and put it in a dark closet. It's, I haven't had any mildew or mold issues. But I love this. <clears throat> it's just the best thing and I use this probably she's 14 months now I used it probably up until she was just a little over a year old because um, this is the only way I could get her to take a bath she liked it so much and I think it was because it was so soft to sit on now the way I use it too I need to add that I did not fill the whole sink up with water and then sit this down that's not what I did I set this in the sink set her in it and because I was bathing her in my kitchen sink, um, I don't have a farmhouse style sink. I've got the, the two sinks. The sink to the side, I would fill up with warm soapy water and then I would bathe her. And then um, I would take one of the, um, the bigger washcloths and put it over her chest and stuff just to help keep her warm. But I would just bathe her that way. And that way it really doesn't get that much water on it. So that might be why I did not have a mold issue. I, I didn't like, it would, um, it will if you stick it in here, stick this in the sink and then fill the sink up with water, it will absorb it and you won't really have any water. So I could see why people wouldn't like it, but if you use it the way I just described, it'll work fabulous, especially if you have a preemie. And speaking of preemies, the Dr. Brown's preemie bottles, look how tiny it is y'all. I don't have any four ounce bottles. I do have a, um, an eight ounce bottle. Hold on just a second. Okay, this is the Dr. Brown's um, eight ounce bottle. We don't, we no longer use the little tubes, but this is a two ounce bottle. Look at the difference. It is so tiny. These were fabulous whenever um, she was a preemie. It was, they were just great. Um, I never had problems with her being a gassy baby. She did not spit up that much. She, um, I was able to pump and give her breast milk for the first nine weeks and then I had PCOS so unfortunately my milk just it just dried up on me I mean I tried everything and it just it dried up but anyway she was a formula fed baby and um, I mean she just she didn't spit up that much and I don't know if it was because of the Dr. Brown's bottles or if it was just her but anyway I love Dr. Brown's bottles okay Let's talk about teething, because she, um, she is teething now. Right now, she has on another one of these. Um, this is the 11 inch. Um, this is the amber teething necklace. I like to buy mine from, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna pronounce it right, but um, it's Hazel Aid, or Hazel Aid. It's like Hazel and Aid put together. Um, this is the Super Butter. I think it's, they have ratings on them. I think this was actually like an 11 or something on the pain scale. I find that they do help. Um, 
she does not drool a lot. I've I've worked daycares and I've kept a lot of the babies and babies when they teeth they just drool a lot. The only time that she drools a lot is if we watch her and give her a sucker. If she has a sucker, she will just drool all over. But it's a sucker. But as far as like chewing on a toy, she doesn't drool a lot. So I think it helps and she's she's not too bad whining. But if she does get whining, I'm sad that the label is covered up and you can't see this. But this is um, the pumpkin butt teething oil. This stuff is awesome. Um, and it will last you forever. Um, I got it on Amazon. I should have looked. Let me see. I've got my um, iPad right here. Let me see if I can look it up for you real quick. See how much it, it is. It's, it's just the best thing. Um, we rub it on her gums and it smells really good too. It does have a... Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but um, if if you use essential oils, then you won't mind how it smells. It it does have a strong smell, but it it's it's a, it's a it's a good smell. Let me see. Hold on, just a second, guys. I was thinking it was around twelve or thirteen dollars. Oh, it's not as much as I thought it was, unless it's on sale. Right now, Amazon has it. Hold on a second. For nine, nine dollars and nine cent, and it's it is two ounces. That's that's what size this is. This is two ounces, so that's the size of it. This is great. All you gotta do is just kind of stick your finger in there and then just rub it on their gums. And um, usually within a couple of minutes. Anna Claire, she calms down. So I don't know if it's um, if it's uh, if it helps that quickly, or if she likes the taste of it, or what it is. But it's like the second I put that in her mouth, I mean, she just she just she starts calming down. Okay, and um, I am I'm kind of a semi crunchy mama. I've used the, the uh, teething um, amber teething beads and uh, cloth diaper part time. And uh, this is what I love for uh, cloth diapering. It's the uh, the CJ's butter. This is the Lullaby Baby scent. This is the the uh, spritz. And um, I'm not sure where I have it, but I do have the stick too. I think it's out in the car in the diaper bag out in the car or something. But um, I love this stuff. I just just spray it on her honey, and I don't I don't even rub it in or anything. I just quickly spray it and. I mean, you know, when they get to be a year old, it's hard to hurry up and change their diaper. And this, I love, um, this is Love Spell scent. And I love to use this to actually rub her down after her bath. And if she's really just ill and not cooperating, I will just spray my hands real quick and just rub her down real quick like that. But CJ's is awesome. We have never, ever had a diaper rash issue. The only time she got a little red was um she had pooped um at the night time and i didn't know it and i guess it just kind of had she had been in it a little too long but she didn't cry and wake up so i didn't know but had i known i would have changed her but that is the only time she has ever had any redness and i, I do use it every diaper change okay the next thing going along with teething and teeth is the um i think it's called a banana brush let me Again, look up. Sorry, I didn't think about looking up the name of this. I think it's called a banana brush. And I, I shop a lot on um, Amazon. So pretty much everything you can find on Amazon. Uh, the Dr. Brown's bottles, um, you do have to go to Babies or Us to get those. I'm not sure that they have the, the, the if you need the premium ones. The four ounce and eight ounce, you can buy those anywhere pretty much. Let's see. I think it's just called a banana toothbrush. Yeah, it's called a baby banana training toothbrush and teether. Um, they also have it in pink, but I like the yellow since it does look like a banana. And um, they have it um, right now for seven dollars and eighty cents on uh, Amazon Prime. Let's see if it'll focus there for you. Okay, and I uh, I just put a little toothpaste on there, and she'll just chew on it, and it's it's great. Um, she is starting to finally use a, a real toothbrush. She won't let me brush her teeth with it yet, but I let her kind of crawl around with it and, and 
chew on it just to get used to it. Okay, and the next thing is, I'm sure everybody has these, the Wubba Nubs. This is the only one I could pry away from my daughter. But um, I love these. They're so cute. We've got the um, the pig with the, the flowers on it. Um, a caterpillar. A fox. I mean, there's just so many of them. They're just great. I mean, Anna Claire loves, she loves to chew on stuffed animals. So, most of the time, she does just chew on the stuffed animal itself. Sometimes, she actually just chews on this part. Very rarely will she actually use a passy. She's just, none of my kids are passy people. But this does what a passy should do. It pacifies her and it makes her happy. Okay. And um, most people use the food pouches. Um, I love, my, my daughter, I would love to do the baby lead weaning with her. But she seems to have, um, what's the word? She has issues with, with uh, texture. There you go. She has uh, texture issues. So right now we're having to do like mainly pureed foods. She um, she will eat like crackers and stuff. Like if it's like dry, she'll eat it. But if it's um, like cold and wet, like, like fruit, you know, like uh, cantaloupe, watermelon, I cannot get her to touch that and try that. She just, she won't do it. Peas, uh, corn, she won't do it. She, um, I tried actually giving her pureed meats and the texture of it. She got it gone. Um, she's just, I don't know, she just has texture issues. So, we do the pouches and, um, these chumis are fabulous. They keep her from squeezing the pouch and making it squirt out. And it also, um, when she doesn't have teeth at the beginning when it was, she just had gums. To me, those pouches with the little, um, rivets in it to me that was kind of it looks like that would hurt her gums i don't know anyway i like that it was a little bit softer it's silicone but they have these um you can get two packs and get four packs i actually just bought another four pack and what i bought them with was with these um four reusable uh food pouches and um i'll open those up so y'all can see those real quick i have not tried these out yet but i have a feeling that these are going to be a, my, one of my favorite things. So, you have a unicorn, um, a leopard, uh, a caterpillar, that's cute, and a porcupine. Anyway, my plan with these is, um, since she does have texture issues, I struggle to get protein in her. So, I've been using the Chobani Kids um, yogurt, Greek yogurt, because they have, I think, 8 grams of protein in them. But they're kind of expensive and they're hard to find. So I thought with these, I could buy my own yogurt and just fill them up myself. Okay. And then another, I guess, Crunchy Mama item is um, my diaper covers. I, I love Alba Baby diaper covers. They are just the best. I, I love them. They have the... Um, double gussets i just did a video on these um talking about cloth diapering on the cheap these are only like three dollars and eighty cents and i've tried all kinds of cloth diapers um i was big into the uh, twinkie tush uh, cloth diapers the fitteds those suckers are like 50 bucks a piece and i mean yeah i was big into them i think i had like a hundred of them yeah but this little three dollar and eighty cent thing i love it it's, it's great. And what do I love to use with this? Is receiving blankets. Receiving blankets is another one of my favorite things. They're just, they're so handy to have. I think people just don't really, they, they get a lot of them for baby showers. And they're like, well, what am I going to do with all these receiving blankets? They're, I love them. They're so useful. They're great for broke cloths. They're great for keeping the sun out of your eyes. They're I mean, they're just, they're, they're great to use for changing pads, um, instead of those big bulky ones. I mean, it's going to take that much room in your diaper bag. It's just, and that's what I have one of these in my diaper bag. If you watch, check out, um, what's in my diaper bag, you'll see one in there, but I just love them. And, uh, speaking of blankets, another favorite thing of mine is the muslin, um, blankets. And this is the, I'm trying to think, let's see what brand this one is. Because I love this one. This one's really soft. And I actually don't think it's the Aiden and Anaya's, but 
No, it's not. This, and I'm not sure. I want to say I got this at Walmart, but I don't. Maybe I didn't. But it's um, Ideal Baby. And out of all my muslin blankets, these are the softest. I love them. I think it was in a four pack. These have the little um, owls on them. But I like it more than my um, Aiden and Anias blankets. I have, and I have eight of those. And this, I love this one. Okay. Now, as far as um, feeding and uh, drinking goes, well, kind of did the chummies already. But um, these, I just looked up. What were they called? Snack something. Snack catcher. The Munchkin uh, Snack ca Catchers. I love these. Um, there was another brand. I don't know if it was the Nubby or Newbie. I don't know how you pronounce that brand. I'm not sure if it was that brand. But there was another brand I was looking at. And I, I was, you know, kind of playing with it. And I was like, ooh, I don't like how hard that is. But this, this is so flexible. And it's soft. And don't have to worry about it really hurting her. So, this is great because my daughter is a thrower. If I was to just take and just set this down, she would take everything and go, ooh, la, 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 like, like she was in a wedding or something, you know, throwing flowers. But these are great because she could only get one. And it took her, I think, I have, I actually have a video of her um, getting them out. And uh, it took her like two minutes to figure it out. And, and then she was good. Okay, and then one of my favorite sippy cups is the... Um, I think it's Munchkin also. Uh, the 360 Miracle Cup. These these are great. I love these because it teaches them how to, to drink like they would a regular cup. My daughter's still yeah. getting used to these. Um, she's just, she loves her bottle. But I've been putting juice, um, watered down juice in here to try to get her used to it. So I think, I think that is all. So I hope you enjoyed this and, um, Check out my other, um, I'm going to call them mommy videos I did. I did one on cloth diapering on the cheap. And I did two what's in my diaper bag because I forgot to add in my emergency diaper bag. So I did um, three videos before this one. But uh, check those out and uh, like and subscribe and bye.